Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. You follow, I, uh, look, Ross, I, I, you, follow, you follow Hollywood stuff quite a bit because you're in the entertainment industry with the majority of your work. <clears throat> While you're talking about this, what do you think about Alyssa Milano? Because she went off oh last month. God. You know, like I, every other word was the F word and Trump sucks and you know, white people suck and this, that, and the other thing. And it's like, my first thought was how many illegal immigrants or how many people live in her house? Like yeah, ex- exactly. Like, and and what by is the way, she t- actually doing to cap this off before I get to Alyssa Milano, because uh, since you brought up Hollywood, I, here's the Hollywood tip that I do know the, about this fucking thing house. Is, I, well, she does know, sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but the thing that she does know is her and her father did move in to a stranger's home when they, when she was growing up. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think that it's this important so to identify great. that without Tony Danza <laughs> moving into like, that where's home, where's he going with this? And then it registered. Oh, so yeah, like, yeah. I think she back to nineteen eighty seven. She knows a lot. Yeah, God, God, she was hot. And she it, knows a lot. Sorry. Sorry, and Ryan. she would I, often I didn't ask, to... "Who's the boss?" And, yeah, and that was something <laughs> that she you. did all the time. <laughs> she knew. Uh, <laughs> yes, her was dad that? was a a, a manny. Then I mean, <laughs> hey, she knows. Just, just my two cents. Go ahead, Ross. Sorry. Yeah, no, but uh, Bert, to get back to your Hollywood thing, like w- with this six bedroom house they're funding for TBS in in Georgia. Th- th- what here's the dirty Hollywood secret about this fucking house is this: Georgia has a thirty percent tax break for anything filming in the state of Georgia. Therefore, the taxpayers of Georgia are paying for 30% of this fucking six-bedroom house there. And TBS oh, is going to write this off. They're going to write oh, off 30% of this house. Fucks. So if you're wondering why they're building this house in Georgia, nowhere near the border of Texas or New Mexico or fucking <laughs> California, it's because they can't get a fucking tax credit there, brother. That's yeah, how they're doing it in Georgia. Shit. So slimy. Oh, And TBS. as far as Alyssa Milano goes... Um, I, I can promise you this. Uh, Alyssa Milano's house in, in California is surrounded by a fucking 12-foot wall that no one can get into her goddamn house. Why is the wall good enough for her and her family and her kids, but it's not good for the rest of the country? Yeah, She's- my point exactly. And, and to be clear, because I just went on a rant, if you got rid of Melissa Milano, I would trade her for about 10,000 illegal Mexicans. I love Mexico. I love Texicans. I grew up half yeah, my life has been in this that? state. So don't get me wrong. I absolutely <laughs> love Mexicans and about every other country in the world has great people. I'm not being negative. Like I keep the wall up. Only white people in America, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm not, that's not what I'm saying, but do it the right way. Like come to this country. I don't care where you're from, Nigeria, Thailand, Mexico, come here the right way. And I, and if you if you're not a criminal start, or a felon, why don't felon? we start a movement though? Because if you come here illegally and you get detained by Border Patrol or ICE, and you're separated from your kids because they put the kids in a different bucket, you know we got to take care of these guys. We process you and send you back and reunite you, however the, however they do it. But why don't we start a movement for people that commit violent crimes and go to prison that are separated from their children? Yeah, or why don't you start a GoFundMe for the wall, like what's going on right now? <laughs> it's just. It's so, a, the thing is, is they, the way that they paint this, they paint it as we purposely separate these families as soon as they could. It's like, no, you broke the law. You're being arrested. You're being processed. And then you're being sent back. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's the other part but of it. That's not what they say. And that's we're not gonna, how they mess. That's not how they tune the message. And the other part of that is they're separating the kids so that the kids aren't in an adult detention facility yes. with a bunch of pedophiles and crazy people like it's, exactly. it's anyway yeah hey, hey, evan I, I was serious about that gofundme did you hear about this that's going on right now yeah. like live on air mm-hmm. what's yeah. it up to so far it's up to seven million dollars on gofundme oh, that just got started it was a, a veteran brian, a triple triple brian amputee Colfage. yeah he was an air force <coughs> security forces guy oh really oh he's yeah. sf nice um so he's he's trying to raise one billion dollars on gofundme to build build a wall since Congress won't approve this, or you know the that Democratic be, side that, of this that for the budget. That could be a record on GoFundMe so far, though. Seriously, I, I mean, since we've been on the phone, I mean, just you know, on this on this podcast, it's gone up a million dollars since you know. Yeah, it was like five something when I came in. Six point seven. Yeah, if every if every single person that voted for Trump gave eighty dollars, he'd hit his billion dollars. Yeah. Wow. 
Um, so uh, my, question, my question, my question, yeah, when exactly. Does, when what happens if GoFundMe steps in and they're like, "Hey, you know, we're out of California and we're not down with this." <laughs> I mean, what's GoFundMe's take on this? <laughs> they would have they would have shut it down by now. My question to Evan is this: is is this a new form of paying for? I mean, look, we're all taxpayers anyways, but we don't control where the money goes. Is GoFundMe like a viable option to pay for shit in your community and and? I mean, a fucking wall. What if this does get to a billion dollars? Then what? Uh, <laughs> For real? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very complex question because the wall is a national security issue or could be perceived, or, or perceived as a national security issue, which falls in the, in the hands of the federal government because it's a national issue, right? So, and then it's a security issue, so you, you have to kind of bring in the more law enforcement and DOD aspects of the federal government in order to get it funded. Of course, we all, I think we've all seen how a bill becomes a law or something like that, where you, you understand how we need to fund specific things. I, I think that what has to be done and maybe hasn't is there has to be a, a really comprehensive study as to how much the wall would prevent illegal immigration because I think there's a certain portion of of me that believes that a wall won't necessarily prevent illegal immigration because the border is so porous and there are so many different ways that you can migrate to the United States illegally that a wall won't necessarily deter that. It might be just a taxpayer expense that we spend in futility and I, that's the thing that I, I don't necessarily agree with. I can I jump agree with, with you on this because I've been, I've, I've done a lot of controlling out in Gila Bend yeah. and that's hundreds, hundreds of hundreds of miles of the Arizona, uh, Mexico border. But you know, they constantly tell us when we're out there, we're, we're on the border. That's where the bombing range is, but mm-hmm. it's, it's 80 plus miles of barren desert through Mexico that you have to cross just to get into the u.s and they say they find bodies out there all the time because they just don't make it uh so it's like like you're saying it's like to fund all that wall space out in these desolate places like gila bend arizona like does it really keep anybody out or is anybody really trying to make that that walk you know (laughs) yeah and and what what prevents people from throwing a grappling hook to the top like batman when you're in the middle of nowhere nowhere. you know and where i say there where there's a will there's a way and there has to be a realistic measure and and literally there there has to be some type of cost analysis done at the taxpayer expense what i don't agree with is spending taxpayer dollars for a a psychological security but not actual security which is if this is just a fictional reality of us pu- pulling the covers over our head to make the boogeyman go away well fuck that i'm not interested in that i, I really want to solve the issue which is illegal immigration is the issue right how do we solve that in the most cost effective and beneficial way so we also have to think about the the partner or border countries like Mexico, how do we work with them in order to do this? And I'm not running for Congress here. I'm just saying a wall just seems like a very um, rudimentary way to solve a very complex problem. I think there are sections of the border that need a wall, but I think the wall actually has to be extended under the ground too because of the tunnels. So should we spend more, and when we think about it just in, in square feet, up or down, I think you actually have to activate square footage based on where we're seeing the most activity on these borders, both up and down, preventing tunnels and people going over versus just putting a fucking wall out in the middle of the desert where nobody's going to come through anyway. And if they do, it's like 10 people a year. And we spent literally, you know, $10 million million a fucking person to to keep the 10 people out. Well, that doesn't make any goddamn sense to me either. So... And even then, no matter how, no matter how with a, something like a wall, no matter how deep you go down, or no matter how high you go up, if it's left unchecked, they'll figure it, it yeah, out. If, if they'll fucking yeah. figure it out. So this and, this <laughs> this entire thing is like for me. I like creating jobs. I do. Like that's that's one of the things that I like doing. Just like I think this is a job issue. I think this is 
a border security issue that can create more jobs, it creates more taxpayers and puts more dollars back into the economy. I think this is a border security issue that we can solve with more border patrol and more technology. I don't think that we need a physical wall to keep people out. I think that use we the balloons. Need, I think that we need, yeah. You know? I mean, why not do we, a balloon every, every you know, <laughs> that's cheaper than the wall. A wall is just one aspect, right? Yeah. It's just one element of security. And we dealt with this all the time. It's not just a hexo or hesco like, hey, dude, you need them in some locations, but you don't need them in all locations. It, it would be impossible to do that, to provide your own security through an, through an AOR, like it can provide security around a specific element, but then you have a combination of interwoven uh, tactics, techniques, procedures, and technology that, that, that tie together to create security. The question is, how do we solve illegal immigration that is not just for security reasons, but it's for economic reasons because it costs the taxpayers a ton of money to educate, to medicate, to deport. Like this is this is a huge fucking cost to us. So everybody should be asking this. Everybody that takes a dollar out of their wallet and gives thirty six cents back, whatever to the to the to the United States government, we all should be asking the same question: How the fuck do we save out of this thirty six cents that I'm giving back to you? the you know congress and senate and whomever else take more money back from this but i want to get more out of it not just some psychological security that's actually fictional like it's bullshit i am not a smart man i think my iq is probably just over 100 total, total bullshit <clears throat> so here i would say it's more close to 70 <laughs> i'll buy that uh, yeah you said you weren't running for congress but i would probably vote for you Here's the question. How much money, if I started a GoFundMe with JT, how much money do we have to raise to get you to run for office? $20 million? Oh, I, I, it depends on what office, I suppose, right? You need to run for office. That's because my point. You said you're you not told running me, for Congress. If you told I've said me, it since the first day I met you. You need to run for office. I'm watching all these vets run and all these people run, but you've already proven that you can support the country, support vets. You can create jobs and you can better the con- the country. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, Evan and Congress. Hey, I think it's I Evan for, for governor. I I governor like I like this one. I yeah. like Evan for the ambassador to Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. That's start, a good one. Start, I'll run for the ambassador off. to Puerto start Rico off, yeah. and then yeah, do so, they grow coffee in Puerto Rico? They do. Uh, so no. let's pick a different I, I think country. it'd be like, "Hey man, no, yeah, would, I'll would be you, the ambassador." I'm going to put you on the spot here. Would you ever run for office? Not uh, now. I know you've got a ten-year yeah. plan here. I, I absolutely, I, I would. There, there would be certain aspects that I would have to like meet in order to do that. Which is, uh, I would definitely run for a state governor for sure. Like I like, I like governors. I hate Washington just in general. Like if I, I, I hate Beltway politics bullshit. I hate it all. Like fucking hate them, all of them. Like I hate it. Governor, They're all just governor. Idaho? The governor of Idaho or Wyoming or one of those states. That yeah, I really, if you were a God, governor, they only great. And, and Idaho <laughs> is like that's the state that I love. Where I'm from, there it'd be an honor. It'd be like an amazing privilege to be that. However, politics is so fucking dirty. Yeah, and that's, what I, and that's what the we've point. Seen, though, like you need more people well, like you I in think, politics. Like yes, let's let's but, let's war game this real quick. If he was the governor in Idaho. Not only would he be like loved by the people, so he's never going to lose that seat for a while. Yeah, but you can, as a governor, you can poke so much like at Washington. Like every time he makes a comment about something, all the news blows out. Oh, the governor of Idaho called the president, you know, an asshole or something like that. Like well, you can still sway a lot of public opinion as a, as as a, a governor. governor. Yeah, I agree. I, agree. I, I, I open. I open. A-